Hey guys, this is Direwolf20, and today's uh, tutorial is on geothermal generators. Geothermal generators can use lava buckets or lava fuel cells to pre create uh, energy. Uh, you can get your lava fuel cells using the uh, pump that you guys saw me make over there, like by my water. You can pump up lava as well and create lava fuel cells, or you can just combine a lava bucket with a fuel cell, empty fuel cell that is. So why don't we get started on those? Oh well, I couldn't find one, so why don't I just make an empty bucket real quick and use the uh, equivalent exchange vulcanite amulet to create some lava. So I can scoop up lava into a bucket and place it in the geothermal generator, and you can see it created a small amount of lava storage in there. And if I go ahead and uh, measure that on my EU reader, see I'm getting nine energy units per tick. Uh, why is that? I made this a little longer than I probably should have. Um, it really produces 10 energy units per tick, but because um, I used copper cable here, let's go ahead and use uh, glass fiber cabling. There we go. How much energy am I producing now? 10 energy units per tick. Much better. Um, you can also, since lava buckets cannot be stacked, Combine a lava bucket with an empty cell, and get a lava cell, and you get your bucket back. And you can stick your lava cell in here as well. So you can stack lava cells. Um, you can't stack buckets, but you can stack lava cells. And you can throw them into your reactor together, and they'll, um, you know, fill up the reactor bar. I think this guy holds about 10, I want to say. Uh, cells worth of uh, lava, and then you can stack more in here, and it'll just keep producing more and more energy. So this guy produces 10 energy units per tick, and it produces a good amount of energy per um, lava cell that you put in there. So that's a nice little uh, reactor as well.